Hey, it's Ken Gaddy with YouTube channel Game Bits, continuing my Let's Play of Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Wii U. You really should know this by now. I'm in World 7. You've been watching these videos for months. Now I'm going into World Castle 3, Red Hot Run. Not a perfect playthrough, it's a blind Let's Play. I'm going to get all the green stars and nothing else. Maybe a few stamps here and there. 100 seconds! OMG! Run, run as fast as you can! Alright, jump, jump. I guess I have to choose a way to go. Oh, should have jumped there. And there's a green star. Let's go back and get it. Whoa! Oh! Haha! <laughs> okay. Don't take a fast run off a short pier. This is definitely a level that is a learning exercise. Ah! Oh! Didn't jump. Let's try that one more time. Or two or three. And let's make sure I'm not missing anything behind me here. Nope. Wait, what's this? Oh my. This is a great power-up to have on a level like this, when you're running fast and making a lot of coins. That's some very easy one-ups. Whoa! Why couldn't I change the angle of my jump? I seem to have lost control of myself. It is really hard to control your direction when you're running at an uncontrollable speed. The best way to get those green stars might just be to stay calm and carry on. Eh. Alright. Quick diversion. Got it. Keep running. That middle coin, or that middle pipe has some coins, but we all have in the same place. Green coins at this speed? Hmm. Oh, that's actually not so bad, just keep running at right angles. Gotta make an extra lap to get the star, though. It's kinda hard to do a U-turn at this speed. So two green stars, no stamps yet. Just keep running. Shortcut. Oh, hey, there it is, stamp. Sweet. Eh. And third green star. Got them all. 25 seconds left. Ooh, put me at the top here. Sweet, top of the flagpole. Perfect level. Three green stars, stamp, top of the flagpole. So you want to go in the middle pipe at the end there. That will take you to the top pipe for launching yourself at the flagpole. So that's a case where you don't all end up in the same spot. Interesting. One eighty one, a palindrome, and also on the TV show Night Court, Bull Shannon's IQ. There's some trivia for you. Let's see, this is a stamp house. That's what I call it. Stamp. It's a sprite. However, very different from the sprite that you play as in Secret of Mana. Okay, got that out of the way. Oh, I guess I get a gold flag when I perfectly finish the level. And this one, I didn't get to the top of the flagpole, I guess. Anyway, I could use some items, so let's make a quick detour into here. I'm a little Mario, and there's nothing in my reserve box. Oh. Okay, that's all I get. Well, better than nothing, honey. Alright, goodbye. Alright, so moving on to 5-4. I'm gonna try to do at least three levels in this Let's Play. That's how many I usually do. What's this? Whoa! Pipe! Fire Brothers. My arch nemesis is. Fire Brothers Hideout Number 4. Very easy to miss. Thanks for gaming media who tipped me off to making those pipes. Wow! Holy cow! Wow. How have I not gotten hit? Alright. Huh. As long as you stay calm, pick them off one by one. Although, definitely a fire power or some sort of a power up would have made this a lot easier. Not that it was hard, just would have made it faster. But hey, there's a green star, something that you need to get a perfect on this world. 
So yeah, I will be doing at least three levels. My last Let's Play of this world was only two levels, and that's because I was in a time crunch. I was on my way to Fun Spot in Laconia, New Hampshire on Lake Winnipesaukee. Had a fantastic day, especially the moment when I happened to notice an older gentleman wearing suspenders and playing pinball. And I recognized him as Bob Lawson, the founder of Fun Spot. I waited patiently until he finished playing the game. He did not tilt. Boiling blue bully belt. I asked, excuse me, Mr. Lawson, may I get my photo with you? He said, sure, and we chatted for a bit, and then he gave me his business card. His business card doubles as a $20 gift card. How awesome is that? Now, I don't know why I'm following these blocks in the direction that they're appearing. I'm sure I don't need to. Whoa. Stop following me! Ah! Lost my stuff. Ah, uh, I hate that you have to run on these coins twice. Once to make them appear and once to actually collect them. Ah! Stop following me! That was annoying. Alright, let's try this again. See if I can hold on to my firepower this time. Run circles around you, bully. It's not hard to be smarter than a bully. Remember that, kids. I hate these fire... Uh, not the fire, the skeletal things. They never die. Kind of like grandma's fruitcake. Hmm. Green coins equals green stars. Oh, here we go. Got it. Alright. Hmm, Sprite, what do you got for me? I see a green star. Let's keep that in mind. Ah! Get away from me. Alright. Oop, stamp. Now let's wait for these purple blocks to come around again, rather than try to rush back to get on there. Here we go. Jump. 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 Whoa, whoa! Hey, careful, careful! Thank you! And hey, purple block. This should be easy. Whoa. Bully. Ha! Huh. Definitely a good reason to hold on to your firepower, is to defeat that guy. So now I got two stamps. Two stamps, what am I saying? Two green stars, one stamp. And I haven't made it to the top of the flagpole yet, of course. But if I can manage that, this will be a perfect level. But really, it's a Mario game. Every level is perfect, just from the design point. Let's see. Made it. Bully! I don't really need to do much exploration at this point, because I know where the last green star is. I saw it. Can't see it from this angle. But it is over there. Aw, oh, neat! I hit him. Die. There it is. Oh! I didn't even realize I was losing control. Okay, so... Let's try that again. I don't have a fireball, and... Granted, I may not need to explore, but I do need to focus on staying alive. So let's try that. And there's my firepower. And there's the green star. But as I'm amply demonstrating, seeing it and getting it are not the same thing. Oh! Got hit there, but that's okay. Whoa, two of these guys. Whoa, I thought I was gonna get hit. Hmm. I'll take it. Uh-oh. Bullies, bullies everywhere! How much will my fireballs help? Quite a bit, actually. Wow. Impressive. Oh. More purple blocks. They're going to drop on me, aren't they? Alright, let's do this. Oh! Should have done much more of a running jump. So not quite the perfect level. As YouTube user Gaming Media is so ready to readily, repeatedly remind me. 
I'm just not doing good enough to find every level in this game. Apparently there are hidden worlds that will open up if you do perfectly. Alright, so how many worlds is that now that I've done? Whoa, a bully. Or an obstacle, or blockade. Two blockades. Fascinating. And slot machines. So I've actually only done two levels plus the Fire Brothers. Let's do these two blockades, and what will that leave me? Let me take a quick look at the map. Five, six, seven, castle, A, B. Well, I'm about to do A, B, I believe. So, five, six, seven, castle. Hmm. So what do we got here? Brolder blockade is back. I can only remember how I defeated this guy last time. It's been a while. Whoa. I'm pretty sure I don't want to pick up the guys made of magma. Well, I do want to pick up these guys and throw them at them. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Ow, I'm little. Okay, here we go. Give me what I need. Bam. Whoa! I lost track of myself for a second there, which is a very dangerous thing to do in this game. I always want to keep an eye on your whereabouts. So you can avoid the collision areas with your foes. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh darn it. Huh, I thought I was already small. I'm surprised I survived that attack. That'll do it. Get me some coins. Not gonna get to those in time. Nope, not even close. 99 seconds, 20,000 points on the mark. Let's see, I've actually been playing for almost a half hour, but I'm deleting a lot of my deaths, so you're not gonna see that. Somebody actually said they wanted to see all the deaths, but really, it's, it's really frustrating. There's nothing original about them. Let's go do the other blockade. Actually, no, let's do this world. We'll just save the blockade and the last two areas. Wait, how many areas are there? Wait a minute, I'm losing track here. Yeah, so one, two, and the boss will be my next video. This video, I'm going to do the Trick Trap Tower. That's level five, and I just must have done four. Yep. Just making sure I'm going in order here. So let's do this. Trick, trap, tower. I like towers. All the more opportunities to fall to your death! Oh boy. No controller of the camera. This should be fun. Oh, this reminds me of like... Whoa! That reminds me of all the deaths that I've been deleting. You're gonna see that one, though. But climbing a tower reminds me of Shenmue 2. There's a tower near the end, or what I thought was the end. It was so climactic that when I finished and realized that the game kept going, I just lost all interest. I'm like, why is there more to this game? That was a spot to stop, and why is it still going? Oh well. Okay, haven't seen any green stars yet. Just looking all around, make sure I'm not missing anything. There's probably going to be some green stars somewhere. Whoa, whoa! Eh. Okay, whatever. It is occasionally an awkward angle I wish we play in this game. Meow, my tail! Whew. Oh, Magic Koopa. Ha! Huh. Ooh, now I need to find out if that's the first green star or not. This is also like a mandatory green star. You can't avoid it. Okay, that was the second green star, which means I am missing one. Which means I need to go back. 
because I don't want to miss any green stars. Get out of here. I think I see something. Yes, there's something up there. There we go. That wasn't so hard. Is there a cloud above me? With a stamp. Wow. Lucrative. And it brings me right up... Whoa! Alright, let's try that again. It brings me right up to where the magic was were, so that wasn't even much of a delay at all. A little bit of exploration really paid off very quickly. And now you bring me to a whole new tower? Bummer. Why is there a key here? What is, do I need to find a... I need to find a key? What would I get if I found a key? Why have I not already found a key? Huh. I wonder if I need to come back after I find a key and open that up. Can I smack this guy? Yes! Kitty power! Whoa. Oh. Oh, I need to find five of them. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Huh. <laughs> this is kind of fun. For some reason, seeing these puddles makes me want to play... Whoa! Dragon Warrior. They remind me of, I don't know, like a slime or something. Something that electrifies you. Man, I haven't played a Dragon Quest game since Dragon Quest VIII on the PS2. And I was... Whoa! So much for my remembrance. I need to get out of here. Fast. This is like the opposite of that, of that fuzzy's mind that I had so much trouble with. Whoa! No, 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 no! Wow. Is he going to chase me beyond the confines of the tower? Nope, it stops there. No, it's coming. It's coming. Oh my goodness. Anyway, yeah, Dragon Quest VIII, fall of 2006, I was unemployed and had all the time in the world to play all 80 hours that I required to finish that game. That's probably the last RPG I finished, actually, and that was eight years ago. And I don't regret a minute of it. That was an amazing game. Just loved it so much. I also like being employed, which I have been ever since then. But it definitely cuts into my gaming time which I'm not very happy about. So that's the end of that Let's Play video. I have finished three levels, more or less, and I'm going to finish the rest of this world in the next video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching YouTube channel Game Bits. But wait, there's more. YouTube user Brian Schwartz pointed out that I missed a green star in here, so I need to go back and get it. I don't know how I let that happen. Let me cut right to the scene that I'm missing the star in. Let's go! Alright, here I am on my way to the second Trick Trap Tower, and I have a cat suit. That is essential. There's only one place in this level you can get that, it's at the beginning of the level. And if you don't start off the world at least big, or if you don't get that power up at that point, then you cannot get the third green star. I do also recommend destroying all these purple jellies on your way up, because as you may recall, you're going to be making a swift ret retreat. <laughs> Wow, I'm Elmer Fudd all this morning. A swift retreat. And you don't want these guys slowing you down. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. And here, destroy these blocks with your cat suit. And there is a hidden tunnel to the third green star. Again, don't know how I missed that. So let me go ahead and finish this level. I have a little bit more alacrity now at evading the purple smog. Now that I know it's coming, I know not to dilly-dally. And I have destroyed all the jellies. So that's one less delay. I also know not to try to make a shortcut out of these seesaws. And definitely don't jump on the springs. That'll really slow you down. So see? You can get out of there. Time to kill. There we go. That's the end of the level, 225 seconds left to go. And that is also the end of this video, for real this time. In fact, I'm going back to do this edition after having finished the whole world. So I apologize for going a little bit out of order there, but I do thank you for being patient with me and pointing out my foibles. 
now let's continue on to the next world, or, if you're watching this in order, the next level. <laughs>